my kid in their clutches. Uh, but um, we, you know, I, I'm lucky to work with some some pretty amazing um, undergrads and then also grads. It's a, it's a kind of an unusual program um, in that we offer a, the, a PhD in creative writing. We don't have an MFA program here. Um, and I know for a lot of people, there's this, oh my god, you know, another degree for creative writing. Um, uh, and that was sort of my sense before I had kind of investigated the thing, but it kind of makes a lot of sense for, for people who are interested in, in going on to, to teach. Um, it's, it's a pretty self-selective group at the graduate level um, and uh, uh, who, who tend to be, you know, unusually motivated. People come into the program having already published books and, and et cetera. It's not a prerequisite. We, we have people who don't also. But nonetheless, people are really serious and committed to it. And so, um, you know, I, I'm fortunate enough to get to be in, in rooms with people who I, I feel like I'm having a, just an extraordinary conversation with, generally speaking, rather than doing a kind of top-down teaching. And, you know, it's, it's a different situation, um, I suppose, with undergrads, but I tend to go at it with the same spirit um, that I'm, I'm there to um, encourage tent latent tendencies in, in, in a way. Um, and to f facilitate their forward movement um, with with their own work, uh, and so you know, my uh, there are probably people who've been through MFA programs in, in the room there, um, and you know, so when we talk about workshops, um, I, I don't know what image gets conjured up for people. For a lot of people, it's that sense of you know, okay, we've got a circle and everybody's read the piece, and all we're going to do in the class is read each other's work and and sort of go around the circle and. Either you know we we all pull our pocket axe out and start chopping away, or you know we or we compliment or, or whatever it is, and, and um, you know I, I certainly incorporate that into into my classroom um, that that side of things. But you know th this is to go you know my sort of long circuitous way of going to you know what 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 I would offer, and, and you know it's it's my it's the same old boring thing, which is to to read, um, which we do in these classes. So when I do a workshop, there's a heavy reading component as well, um, as well as a sense of we're constructing something together, so let's write together. Um, uh, but anyway, read and read widely. Um, do not restrict yourself to the chosen genre. Um, if you're fiction, you, you call yourself a fiction writer, well, you know, read, it, read everything you can. Um, and then um, I incorporate a lot of experimental film, for example, into my classes um, as ways of, different ways of thinking about things. So. Um, Say work by Stan Brakhage, um, some of the films of, of Harry, Harry Smith, uh, and, and others, uh, and so bringing in as much information as possible uh, into your writerly portfolio of, of, of you know, options and possibilities. Uh, and um, you know, certainly, I, I'm sitting here in an office in a university, but I'm, I'm you know I'm not at all of the mind that one needs to to go the university route to to get this thing done. Um, it just happens to be an option that a number of people are following, but you know, you certainly don't have to go into teaching. You don't have to get an MFA. All of that. Um, it, uh, you know, my experience has just been that you get into company with other like-minded individuals and you know, have some time to to try and, and write. But you can do that. You can create that by doing what you guys are doing at, at um, books and bars book club. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks.